I am hoping to be the first boxer, male or female, to compete for Somalia, hopefully, inshallah. I'm going to be a Sayyid Ahmed Ali, and I'm going to be a Somali boxer. I got into boxing when I was uh, pretty young. I was in secondary school. Um, I was overweight, uh, used to get uh, bullied in school, and um, to combat my um, insecurities, my mum uh, got me a gym membership at the local fitness centre. Um, so I started going to the classes uh, where there I uh, stumbled upon a boxing class uh, which was taking place once a week. I got hooked but once a week wasn't enough for me so I googled local boxing centres um, uh, close to me within my area. I walked into a community centre that was running some boxing classes for kids and as they say the rest is history. Um, my family wasn't okay with it, so I, I used it as like a fitness thing um, because I knew like the moment I stepped into the ring it would cause conflict and issues within the family. So the way I thought is what, what they don't know is not going to kill them. So if I keep it a secret and if I do something that I love, then they will still be happy because your parents are always doing what they think is right for you. They only do it to protect you. And they're not doing it to be horrible or to deny you of your dreams and things like that. Um, so I just kept it a secret for many, many years. And every time I had a black eye, or oh, sorry, mum, I fell down, or every time I had a cut, oh, sorry, mum, I walked into the door. And for a long time, she believed it. And then my brother first saw something on the internet and he told her, and I think that's when she knew. What I was doing. Gym, Ramla Ali. I think 2016 was my best year. That was the year I said, you know, I'm going to knuckle down, I'm going to take it seriously. I'm not going to stop and start. So in 2016, I won the national title, so I became the best in the country at my weight. And then a few months after that, I competed for the English belt. I won that. I stopped my opponent in the second round which was good. A month or two after that, I got selected to go to the European Games. Uh, I didn't medal, unfortunately, but it was, it, it was a learning experience. And then two weeks after that, I competed in the GB Championships, and I won that. I've literally won every major title there is to win in this country. Once a week, I teach a ladies only, um, so in the gym, literally no men are allowed. I have the key, I lock it from the inside, and it's just a nice place where hijabis can feel free to take their scarf off, and I teach them boxing, we do a bit of fitness at the end, and it's, it's really fun, and the, the, the ladies enjoy it, so um, I'd love for more Somali women to get involved and come to that class, because that'd be amazing. So this year I'm going to do a, lo a lot more international competitions because the international experience is the experience you want to get. So you want to fight the girls who are the best in Sweden, Denmark and Kazakhstan. And you want to compete against those girls because you want to see if you can handle it with those girls. Um, towards the end of the year I'm hoping to compete for Somalia. Um, to be the first boxer, male or female, to compete for Somalia, hopefully, inshallah. And represent Somalia in the 2020 Olympics, which would be great. I think that I would make my mum more proud if I competed for Somalia. If she saw me, representing her country, I think she'd be a lot more proud. I think my dad would be more proud as well. And that's ultimately what you want really, to make your parents proud.